Hello friends, how are you? Sazi, the new story of Baba Bay, Baba's magical unicorn. So friends, everybody loves some animals or some pets. Like that, Baba loves unicorn. By the way friends, welcome to my channel, Butter Tales. So let's start the story, Baba's magical unicorn. I think this story is going to be very magical. One rainy day, Papa invited Susie's ship to her house to play. Hello Susie! cried Papa when she arrived. Let's play with my horse. Papa introduced Susie to her toy horse. Susie, meet Horsey Twinkle Toes. Horsey Twinkle Toes, meet Susie. It's very nice to meet you, Miss Twinkle Toes, said Susie politely. Peppa and Susie galloped off to Peppa's bedroom together. Kitty up, Horsey! shouted Peppa, pacing around her room on. Horsey Twinkle Toes while Susie watched. Daddy Pig heard all the noise and came upstairs to see what was going on. We are playing horses, cried Peppa. I see, said Daddy Pig. Thanks, Susie sitting quietly. Do you think perhaps it's Susie's turn, Peppa? asked Daddy Pig. Yes, come on, Susie. You can ride Horsey Twinkle Toes now, replied Peppa. I don't want to play horses. I want to play unicorns, sighed Susie. Peppa thought for a moment. Well, Horsey Twinkle Toes is a magic horse. She can be a unicorn whenever she feels like it, she said. Oh, okay, said Susie. Susie pranced around the room on horsey twinkle toes. Let's brush her beautiful tail, said Peppa. But unicorns have rainbow tails, said Susie. Oh, that's okay, said Peppa. We can put colored ribbon in it. What a good idea. You do that while I get you both a snack, said Daddy Pig. Now we can fly in the sky on our unicorn, cheered Peppa. But a unicorn has a horn to hold when you fly. Her sitting girl toes doesn't have a horn, said Susie. Oh, that's okay. She flies so gently. You don't know even how to hold on, said Peppa. Peppa and Susie took it in turns to fly around the room. I wish Horsey Twinkle Toes was a real unicorn, said Susie. And I wish she was really, really, really sparkly, added Peppa. I think Horsey Twinkle Toes is tired. Why don't you build her a tent to sleep in? Said Peppa. Yay! Yeah. Cheered Peppa and Susie. While Peppa and Susie were busy building a death in the living room, Daddy Pig gathered some secret supplies for later. Wow! Said Daddy Pig when Peppa and Susie had finished. What a fantastic den! Can we sleep in it tonight, Daddy? Please? Asked Peppa. Of course. If Mommy Ship says it's okay, you can have a sleepover in the den, said Daddy Pig. Hooray! Cheered Peppa and Susie. After dinner, Peppa and Susie got ready for their sleepover. Please? Can you read us a bedtime stories all about unicorns, Daddy? Asked Peppa. Of course, 
Daddy Pig replied. When the story was finished, Peppa and Susie snuggled up in their cozy den and fell fast asleep. While Peppa and Susie slept, Daddy Pig picked up horsey twinkle toes, tiptoed outside and quietly set to work painting and painting some more, then sticking and sticking some more. And then Daddy Pig added the final touch, a horn. Daddy Pig sneaked back to the den to return horse twinkle toes. Ta-da! He whispered. Then he went upstairs and was about to go to sleep when he heard... Wow! Peppa and Susie gasped loudly. They had woken up to find that Horsey Twinkle Toes has transformed into a magical unicorn. I told you, Horsey Twinkle Toes was magic, said Peppa. She is perfect, added Susie. The next morning, Peppa, Susie and George, Mommy and Daddy Pig all sat down for breakfast. Peppa told her family what had happened. And when we woke up, Horsey Twinkle Toes had turned into a real unicorn. It's magic, guessed Peppa. Hmm, said Daddy Pig sleepily. How wonderful! It sounds like you and Susie have had the perfect sleepover, said Mommy Pig. Yes, but why does Daddy have paint all over his face? Said Papa. Daddy Pig couldn't answer. He had fallen asleep at the table. After breakfast, Papa and Susie headed off on a magical adventure with their new unicorn. Love your magical unicorn. Cheered Susie. Me too, said Peppa. Everyone loves magical unicorns, especially Daddy Pig. It's magic! So friends, story has finished. See, I told you that the story is going to be magic and it happened also. So friends, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye. Meet you in another video. Bye-bye.